Hi loves, thank you for tuning into my channel. Today I will be showing you how I'm able to achieve my curls or waves without using heat. Now I don't usually straighten my hair a lot um, because I am a natural and I like to wear my hair curly. I try to um, minimize the amount of heat that I put in my hair. So I may straighten my hair once, maybe every six or seven months. And this time I did straighten it for an event that I had to attend. So today, um, in order to achieve my heatless curls, um, these are the tools I will be using. I will be using my paddle brush. I will be using a little oil on my ends because my ends do get dry. I don't When I straighten my hair, I don't put oil on my scalp because after like the second, maybe third day of my hair being straightened, um, my scalp gets oily anyway and I have to use dry shampoo. But I use the oil on my ends because my ends get really dry and I don't want to get, I don't want to end up getting split in. So the oil I'm using today is the Hask Monoi Coconut Oil and it just moisturizes my ends and um, makes it a little shiny as well. I will also be using a headband and my silk bonnet. I usually do this at night so that um, in the morning I could just take the curl, take the band out and my hair is curly. But today I'm only going to have this in for about five or six hours. So I hope I'm able to achieve the same curls. Okay, so first um, I will start off with just using the powder brush to comb out any kinks that I may have in my hair. And for those of you wondering why I won't just use, you know, a curling iron to just um, do my curls really quickly. I, whenever I do straighten my hair, I only run through one time. Sometimes two, but really mostly I just run through my hair one time. After that, I do not put heat in my hair anymore. So when I straighten my hair, it stays this way for about a week and a half before I do wash it again. And I don't put any more heat in my hair. I don't wrap my hair either. The reason I stop wrapping my hair, because when I wrap my hair, my hair gets super duper oily and it just weighs my hair down so I don't wrap it um, I use the method that I'm about to show you now and I put on my silk bonnet at night and I'm good to go sometimes I may forget to um, wrap it to get my you know wrap it around my headband to get my curls and I may just like pull my hair up like this and put my silk bonnet on and when I wake up in the morning take it off my curls are still there intact my hair is not super oily it's not super frizzy um, but yeah I do not run the flat irons through my hair more than once the whole time that my hair is straightened just that one time when I'm straightening that's it okay so I brushed my hair you know pulled all the kinks and everything out my hair I'm gonna use a little oil on my ends to keep them from getting dry I don't want my ends to get really dry and another oil that I like to use is jojoba oil I use that on my ends when my hair is straightened, but I also use it um, when my hair is curly. I use that oil as well. And my hair is a little shorter than normal because I got tired of seeing my straight ends from the heat damage, so I just cut them off it'll grow back <laughs> okay so I take my headband and I put it on my head like this okay Oops. does not have to be neat at all whatsoever okay I start off by grabbing a piece of hair doesn't have to be a lot and I take it and I wrap it over the headband like that. I'm not concerned about the hair sticking up there. Like I said, it doesn't have to be neat at all. I'll grab that same piece of hair along with just a little bit more and wrap it through the headband again. And I'll keep doing the same process on my entire head.
that's how I wrap my hair around the band. Um, if you want, you can go ahead and take care of your edges before you put on your silk bonnet. I don't really care about that. It doesn't bother me much. Um, but this is what it should look like. Like I said, it does not have to be neat at all. And then I go ahead and put on my silk bonnet. And the silk bonnet, um, I put on at night when I'm doing this. This is when I usually do it at night. I put on the silk bonnet to keep my hair from drying out um, and to also keep my curls intact. I don't have a silk pillowcase, silk or satin pillowcase right now, so I have to make sure that I put on my silk bonnet every single night. Um, and it just keeps my hair shiny and moisturized. Now, because it's not <laughs> nighttime, it's about 10 in the morning, um, I will be taking this down about four or five o'clock. Um, so I'm not sure if my curls are gonna be as tight as they normally are, but I'm quite sure I will have some type of curl or wave definition there. So stay tuned and I'll be back in a few hours. Okay, so it's been about five hours um, since I wrapped my hair around the band. I have to take it out now because I have somewhere I have to be. Um, so I'm just going to show you how I take this out. And like I said earlier, I usually would do this overnight so my curls would be more tight and defined. So I'm not sure <laughs> what this will look like, but here we go. are my curls no heat required these are my curls so I thank you all so much for taking the time out to watch this video. Please subscribe, like, and comment below with any questions, tips, advice.